welcome to Toxic Masculinity's Let's Play of Skyrim on it. I am Mr. Anderson, as always with me is Cassandra. Hello. And that's Monaco in the background. And, uh, yep, right where we left off, and we're about to enter the inner sanctum of Hammaker's Shame. And hopefully we're going to catch up with this dog that, uh, wants us to help him out here. That's weird. Yeah, it is. But, um, hey, you know, talking dogs, it is Skyrim. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go see if we can find them, alright? Okay, so let's try to be stealthy about this this time. Got that monocle, we're gonna be stealthy, yes. Crouch down, yes, exactly. Alright. Take his venom. Oops, a sack over here. Spider egg, okay. Uh oh, what was that? That's not good. Something blew up. Hmm. Coffins. Yes, not a good sign that they're. Uh, no more vampires around. Okay. Alright, so Iron Dagger. These books. Nope. Doesn't look like they would have Soul Gem. Okay. Um, I'm gonna see if I can use any enchantments here. Be right back. Okay, there was another uh, earthquake thing went on there, so getting a little bit worried. Okay. Whoop! Guess I killed her in one shot. Guess she didn't need that extra shot there. Okay. Nothing. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Dog is taking on all these vampires all by himself. Vampire is pretty tough there. I guess at least we caught up with the dog. Um, silver sword of cold. Cool. Sneaking fire armor vampire dust. Wow. Armor of minor conjuration. I think I might already have that enchantment. Okay. Imperial. Oh, geez, what were they doing here? Okay. All right, dog. Explain me what's going on here. Okay, don't. All right. Now this isn't a good sign. Like a goat. And some meat and a dead person. Never a good sign. Okay, a shrine to Clavicus Vile, a uh, Daedric Lord. That's not a good sign. By all means, let's hear it. It's the least I could do since you already helped me grant one final wish for my last worshippers. They were suffering so from vampirism and begged me for a cure. Then you came and ended their misery. I couldn't have planned it better myself. So... What's your heart's desire? What kind of deal can we strike? Wow, that is never a good sign. 
And its statue says, "Let's make a deal." That's um, okay. Um, yeah, let's just let's just ask him to take back the dog. I'm just here to reunite you with Barbus. Ah, uh, that insufferable pup! Forget it. Request denied. No deal. I'm glad to be rid of him, even if it does mean I'm stuck in this pitiful shrine in the back end of nowhere. Well, perhaps there is a way he could earn his place back at my side? Maybe. But no promises. Uh-oh. Okay, alright. Uh, not a kiss. What's your offer? There's an axe. An incredibly powerful axe. An axe powerful enough for me to have quite a bit of fun indeed. If you bring it to me, I'll grant you my boon. No strings attached, no messy surprises. At least not for you. As I recall, it's resting in Rhyme Rock Burrow. Barbers can lead you right to it. Little Mutt might even earn his place back at my side. Okay, so I've got to go retrieve an axe for a Daedric Prince and get a boon of him taking his dog back. Wow. Yeah, that, uh... <laughs> oh, boy. Well, at least I'll be rid of the dog. I can look at it that way. Okay, so, okay, Barbara's talked to me here. So what exactly is the story behind the Roof of the Lax? One of Clavicus's little Jess, a wizard named Sebastian Lord, had a daughter who worshipped her scene. When the daughter became a werewolf, it drove Sebastian over the edge. He couldn't stand to see his little girl take on such a bestial form. The wizard wished for the ability to end his daughter's curse. <laughs> Clavicus gave him an axe. Oh, well, that would work. Okay. Alright, so let's see here. Yep, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh <laughs> Okay, I need to do some looting and uh it's going to involve some uh it's gonna involve even more skin that's showing, so be right back guys. Okay, so you can see we're back in White Run. I uh finished doing the looting and I came back here, did the selling, get some alchemy, switched some stuff around, um I gave Monaco the uh copper sapphire thing and she decided she wanted to wear it which is fine so I'm not gonna sell it now what we're gonna do is we need to uh, go retrieve this axe okay and it should be like right over here so what I'm planning to do is I'm gonna take the carriage to solitude and then go across and we should be able to find it that way all right so let's go need a ride yes I'd like to hire your carriage where do you want to go Solitude. Climb and back, and we'll be off. Okay. Climb back, and we'll be off. Let's go. First time to Solitude? Yep. Beautiful old city. Capital of Skyrim, but I'm sure you already knew that. Yes, I already knew that. Ooh, and it's dark. Okay. Okay, so, uh, let me see here, east, I oh, can't, east should be, west should be that way. Okay, so we're going to go this way, and then we should be able to run into it. Okay, so, let's see, here, let's uh, shed a little light here. Alright, so let's go ahead and off down the road to find a cave with an axe in it. Okay, so... And I'm looking forward to getting rid of Barbus. He's a little bit annoying. He's even worse about getting in the doorways and getting in the way than Monaco is, and he won't shut up. As a matter of fact, he kind of barks the way most people breathe. Uh, okay, this is nighttime, so it should be shouldn't be this boring all night. But it's it's gonna be pretty uneventful so far. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll get back in touch with you guys when I get there. Okay, so we're getting closer here, and uh, Varus, you know, decides he wants to just take a little rest here. And Monica goes back here. Uh, some things are starting to get dangerous, so I'm gonna be a little bit cautious here. All right, and uh, coming up on this park here pretty soon. I thought I saw some ice wraiths over there. Blue mountain flowers. Okay. Some purple ones. Uh oh, here we go. Oop. Shut, Maniko. Okay, search ice wraith essence and the teeth. Love the teeth. I really do hate ice wraiths, but I love their teeth. Seconds, twenty percent, whatever. Okay, uh, let's see here. Okay, another afflicted refugee. Are you finished, Ogleg and the grotesque? I suppose I should be grateful you didn't simply attack me. Lost Echo Cave. Is Look, that where we need to be? An exciting place to venture if you know what you're doing. Okay, I don't think that's where we need to go. Nope, we still got ways to go. Nope. We're not going to go into Lost Echo Cave for right now. We're going to keep on going down the road. Okay, see you there, folks. Okay, and we're back. And there's the cave entrance, so we're going to go ahead and go Look, in here. Look, cave. An exciting place to venture if you know what you're doing. Yes, thank you. Okay. Okay, so... Well... Yeah, stealth is definitely not a good idea with a constantly barking dog and a uh, one that uh, doesn't know how to be stealthy, so... Oh, okay. Okay. Flame Golem, so let's use ice here. Now you guys know why I don't use those, why I don't believe in summoning, because Atronox go down pretty quickly. But, at least I get some fire salts out of it. Hey, and I've never used fire salts for anything yet, so... Let's go ahead and just, uh... Eat that, and learn all its properties. If I can find it on here, there we go. Go get out of the way. Out of magic, uh huh? Well, that's uh, taking some force by magic. Let's uh, generate magic. No, let's just store some magic. Uh, there we go. Okay, and then let's then again, let's not bother. Sebastian Lord, I think he's the guy that. Um, yeah, he's the one who made the deal with Clavicus Vile and uh, up the axe, so cool. Alright. Kinda open to getting hoping to get into a duel with him, but take conjure familiar, steel dagger. Hey look, who do you know? I bet you thrust the rueful axe. Alright. Uh, can I use the enchant? Go off this way. I've already got the axe. Well, let's just see if there's anything over here. Okay. Apple pie. Hearth fire. I think I've already. Oh, conjuration increased to 21. Alright, and I level up. Excellent. Why don't take that? Sweet roll, don't need that. No berries. Okay. First course, cornmeal, salt pile. Okay, see if there's any 
books here that might uh, increase the skill. Nope, doesn't look like there is. Okay, books, books, books. All right, Ooh, chest. All right, gold, golden ring, elven gauntlets. Nope, don't need those. Okay, Some barrel. Some juniper berries, excellent. Okay, all right, so, okay, not a bad day. I didn't think this cave was gonna be, uh, thought it was gonna be longer than this. So I'll tell you what, let me go ahead and stand next to you here, Monaco. Okay, guys, and, uh, okay, never mind, just back off there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the uh, video right here. And uh, as always, this is Mr. Anderson reminding you all to, uh, you forgot me. Oh yeah, sorry, speaking for Cassandra. Bye, everybody. Yep, okay, and uh, you know, as always, Mr. Anderson speaking for Cassandra, reminding you all to rejoice as you bathe in your own toxic masculinity, and have a good day. Thank you very much.